Hi, I'm Melissa, a registered dental hygienist and a proud Burst Ambassador. Now at the beginning of every dental appointment, one of the first things I feel is important to ask my patients are what medications they're currently taking. And a common one listed is birth control. You might be thinking, why does my dental hygienist need to know that? Well, whether it's a pill, patch, or IUD, hormones can actually affect your dental health. Because the connection between hormonal contraceptives and your dental health isn't often talked about, I thought it would be a great topic for this week's Burst TV video. Now there's quite a list of potential effects between hormonal contraceptives and your dental health. So screenshot this list for later to review. But for my video today, I wanted to break down the five effects I feel have the biggest impact to your dental health. First one is gum inflammation. Hormonal contraceptives work using synthetic versions of estrogen and progesterone. And when those hormone levels go up, your gums get a little cranky. We're talking swelling, redness, sensitivity. You know, we see this often even with pregnant women. Number two is more sensitivity to plaque and bacteria. Those same hormones that make your gums more reactive to everyday plaque even if it was just a little bit, this can lead to an irritation, bleeding, and infections, especially if brushing and flossing is taking a back seat. That extra blood flow to the gums makes them even more reactive to plaque and bacteria. This can kickstart inflammation and even gum disease over time. I've seen pyogenic granulomas, these little overgrowths pop up on the gums in some cases, and often with pregnant women too. Long story short, if your hormones are doing their thing, you've really got to step up your oral hygiene game. You know what that means? Brush and floss every day. Number three is dry socket after extractions. Now, if you are on an oral contraceptive and you're getting a tooth pulled, you're at higher risk for dry socket. Basically, it's when the blood clot that is supposed to help your mouth heal gets dislodged. This can be very painful. Hormones can mess with collagen production and your body's healing process. So this can make recovery trickier. So always, always tell your dental provider if you are on birth control before any kind of oral surgery. And number four is dental implant failure. Yep, even dental implants can be affected too. Studies show that a woman on hormonal birth control may have a higher risk of implant failure than those who aren't. Now, this is especially with long-term use, more than 18 months. We start to see a bigger impact on your gum health and bone density around the teeth. If you've ever had trouble with an implant, it may not just be bad luck. Number five is TMJ pain and discomfort. Some research suggests that hormones in contraceptives can contribute to TMJ issues, including jaw pain, popping or clicking sounds, headaches, even soreness in the neck and shoulders. Again, we're gonna talk about estrogen. Estrogen plays a significant role in influencing your pain perception, ligament strength, and inflammation within the jaw joint. And even some contraceptives may actually reduce your natural estrogen levels. This can also lead to increased inflammation and pain within the TMJ joint. So if your jaw's been acting up, it might be time to look at the bigger picture. So what can you do? Well, good news is now you know all of this information. So if you're noticing gum issues or jaw discomfort, talk to your healthcare provider. There may be a lower dose option or even a non-hormonal alternative that will be better for your oral health. And of course, Keep up with your regular cleanings at least every six months. And I know we stress this all the time. Do brush and floss every day. It is so important. And as always, give your dental team your full list of meds. We're here to help you protect your smile. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button, share it with your friend, and don't forget to subscribe to Burst TV if you haven't already for more tips to keep your mouth healthy and happy. Take care.